quick revision video on the reaction pathways for phenol. So the first thing I'm going to do is just talk through the reagents and conditions for these four conversions that we need to know and then we'll look at some specific reactions. So starting with phenol to 246 tribromophenol you would react your phenol with aqueous bromine or bromine water and that's done at room temperature and pressure. Next one is phenol reacting to give either 2 or 4 nitrophenol. So to do that you would react your phenol with dilute nitric acid and again that's done at room temperature and pressure. So moving on to phenol to sodium phenoxide, that's the reaction of phenol with aqueous sodium hydroxide and again that's done at room temperature and pressure. And finally, phenol to a phenyl ester, the phenol provides the phenyl group in the ester. That's the reaction of phenol with an acyl chloride and again at RTP, room temperature and pressure. So we'll look at some reactions now. So phenol to 246 tribromophenol, the equation looks like that. Phenol to 2 nitrophenol, the equation looks like that. Phenol to 4 nitrophenol, the equation looks like that. So, very, very similar. It's just the NO2 group, the nitro group's gone on in position 4 there and position 2 there. Phenol to sodium phenoxide, the equation looks like that. So, just be careful how you represent this um, part here, the ONA. So, you can either write O minus Na plus or ONA but the danger is to put a line there so do not don't do that because that represents a covalent bond and this is an ionic substance so it's O minus Na plus and finally phenol to phenylpropanoate the ester so we're reacting the phenol with propanoyl chloride and so like I said before the phenol provides the phenyl part of the ester and the propanoate part is this bit here from the propanoyl chloride. 